What's going on everyone? Fast Food Toy Reviews here. Today we have Back to the Future, a set of four cool looking toys released by McDonald's back in 1991. And what's really cool about the set is I have four Happy Meal boxes we're going to look at too. Let's get them opened up and have a closer look. The first one up is Doc's DeLorean. So you see Doc in the time traveling DeLorean. Looks really nice. And I gotta tell you, the gimmick on this is kind of awesome. Sadly though, mine doesn't function properly and I believe it's probably because of how old the toy is. I mean, think about it, 1991, you're talking like 30 plus years ago. But the car looks great. The sticker on the windshield is pretty good condition. There's Doc just kind of hanging out. It's just kind of attached to the side of the car. There is no full figure or movement there. So the gimmick underneath here is you roll this along, you can see it, and it's got the rubber tires, and it's like a friction-based push push gimmick, pullback gimmick, if you will, to push it. So that basically the faster you rev it, the faster it goes. You can hear it in there. <laughs> That's cool. And what's really cool is if you get one, there's, if you look closely in there, you can see where there was like probably like a piece of flint or something. And it would spark and light up the tip of this. But unfortunately, again, mine just doesn't work that well. Let's see, I'm wiggling around. You can see where it would like hit it and stuff. But I don't know why, because it's a brand new toy. It's, it was still sealed in its package. Where Why that flint in there would be worn down. But it is. You've, let's see, there you go. You can kind of see it in there. It's just barely, it's like a... It's like a little grinding wheel that would cause a spark, but it's not working. But that's okay. It's still it's still an awesome toy. It's in really good condition. And I love Back to the Future. And this is a great representation of the DeLorean, considering it's a Happy Meal figure. Very nice. So there you go. It's Doc's DeLorean. Next up, we have Einstein's Traveling Train. So you can see Einstein, the dog, hanging out inside the train. And what's really cool about this one is that it's clear and translucent and it looks really, really neat. And it's got some sparkles in there as well. So no real gimmick. It's got the wheels underneath here that roll along and it's got that spinning, you know, I don't know, <laughs> hypnotic thing going on with the wheels. And yeah, that's about it. It looks really cool. Let's give you a side-by-side -side comparison with the DeLorean. So definitely not to scale, but that's okay. It looks awesome. And that's it. So there you go. It's Einstein's traveling train. The next one up is Vern's junk mobile. And this one looks kind of cool. All the different colors going on. So check out this gimmick. We've seen this before. So basically you push this down and it revs the back tires up. And so the faster you go with it, the faster he takes off. And so the back tires are made of rubber. So we got green and blue and the front ones are just little plastic tires. And let's see what's going on with Vern's vehicle here. So it's like a sled and maybe a bathtub and he's got a teddy bear in the back there. <laughs> I don't know what else. Maybe some, a wooden box there. I'm not really sure what to make of it, <laughs> but it's, it's really neat looking. So let's give it a try. So we push this down and he'll take off. Ready? Here we go. Wow, he's quick. <laughs> That's cool. And that's it. There you go. It's Vern's Junk Mobile. And the last toy in the set is Marty's Hoverboard. Such a classic. So there is Marty. There we go. Clint Eastwood. <laughs> it's Marty McFly. Very cool. It's kind of like a thin little molded figurine. It's all molded in like one solid piece. So there's nothing going on except for the little wheels underneath. There's no pullback feature or you know anything like that. They just roll along. And all you do is just push him. And he just glides along on his hoverboard. <laughs> so basically, the faster you push him, the faster he goes. And that's it. So nothing fancy dancy going on. Just a cool little novelty toy that takes you back to your childhood days of the Back to the Future stuff. Very cool. Now let's have a look at the four different Happy Meal boxes that came with the set. So let's see. So there's Doc. And it reads Back to the Future at the top. So there's basically a ton of activity stuff to do with these Happy Meal boxes. You got these little pop-out horses, 
all kinds of cool stuff. What does that read there? The cattle drive is going straight through this dusty town. So basically it's showing the different places they go time traveling in the, in the different places in time in the future and the, you know going back in time. This is kind of cool. And there is the train, the traveling train. Oh, let's see, what does that read? The very special train isn't from the Old West. It doesn't run on steam or electricity. To find out how it runs, fill in the steam shapes to have that have a dot in them. So basically, you would fill this out with your, get your pen or pencil or whatnot. So yeah, just basically activity stuff. These doors fold open and everything. It's kind of neat. I wish, they'd, I, I wish they would still make these the way they used to like this. But today's toys and McDonald's and all the fast food stuff, it's, it's just not the same. But that's okay. We can still enjoy these ones. Let's see what the next one is. Let's pop it open a little bit here. We want to take our time because these are in mint condition and part of my collection. So I don't want to really mess with them too much. As, as though, you know, nobody else would do either if they, if they had these in their collection. You don't want to mess with them too much. So, there we go. Let's see here. There we go. We got it. Yep, we're all good. So let's see what's going on here. So we have Doc there. So it looks like they're in the Roman times, way back when. So there's some stuff to do here. Gadzooks. <laughs> Gadzooks. And it looks like, uh, let's see, what's this? Marty's using a hologram projector to make another dock appear and confuse the guards and Bificus. <laughs> Help him finish the dock on the right to match the dock on the left and color them in. Yes, I love this stuff. So lots of cool activities to do. Looks like they got an old racetrack uh, maze thing. You got you can fill out the maze. This is neat. <laughs> I love this thing. This is a cool one. Ah, oh, yes. This whole set's a win. All right, moving on. All right, so we are on the third box. Now, I'm pretty sure there's only four in the set, but I could be wrong. McDonald's has been known to put out a lot of different versions of Happy Meal boxes, so you think you have four or five in the set or whatever for each toy, and it turns out there's like 16 different variants. So I don't know if that's true with this. I'm just aware of these four, but there could be there could be more Happy Meal boxes for this set, but I, I wouldn't know. I have to I would have to do some more research. So let's see. So they are back in. I'm trying to trying to see what it reads there. I'm not really sure what time this would be. So like gladiator days, like the other one was like, so it was this medieval days and that one was Roman times. And that was, this one was like the old West. So let's see what we got going here. Great Scott. <laughs> That's one of his old sayings. Doc would say, great Scott. <laughs> That's cool. Got the drawbridge up there. So you can see all the different stuff you could do. Like this drawbridge here pops open. It's all perforated right in there. It looks really nice. This is cool. What does that read there? Help Clara escape the tower by choosing the rope. Cho cho choosing the rope. Her friend Genevieve tried tied to the tree. Oh, I can't read today. How many knots are in each rope? Write your answer in the spaces. Oh, these are great. Here is the last Happy Meal box that we have for the set. And it looks like we've gone all the way back to the dinosaur times i suppose there's marty mcfly hanging out with einstein what does that read this is what the earth might look like if dinosaurs ever came became extinct but where on earth is dino city and then find out follow the road starting with the letter h and write the letters in order on the spaces below okay so i see what's going on here okay this is kind of cool i like this let's see what else is a Ty tyrannosaurus rex you got a horse you got a dinosaur riding a horse. Oh my goodness. And then they're going to work and everything. This is silly. <laughs> you got golfing, a golfing dinosaur. And what's happening here with the DeLorean? Doc has only seconds to spare. Help him load up his spare tire and tool so he can make a quick escape. Find the correct letter tool to match each numbered space on the in the car. Oh, I see what's going on here. Okay, this is awesome. What does that read backwards? Time to fly, Doc. That's what it reads. It's backwards, though. <laughs> That's awesome. And then on this side, we have... What do we got here? What made it so hard to sleep in prehistoric times? Too many dino snores. <laughs> okay. That's worth a giggle. 
And yeah, so there you go. That's about it. So there you have it, everyone. Back to the Future set of four cool little toys released by McDonald's back in 1991. That's right, all the way back in 1991. And we even have the four Happy Meal boxes that came with the set. Now, I don't know if it's, there's more than four, but as far as I know, there's only four, but there could be more. So don't hold it against me if I'm wrong. Anyway, if you're into Back to the Future like me, you'll want this in your collection. I'm glad I have it. I love those movies growing up as a kid and, and I can't wait. I, hopefully we get some more Back to the Future movies in the future. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. Take care. We'll see you again next time.